<laughs> Today, we're gonna to be fishing the bung. Why? Because it's a great way of fishing a static fly, and it catches a lot of fish. <laughs> On the bottom dropper, right, I've got a little bloodworm imitation, an accurate one, not a gigantic sort of apse with dangly legs and everything, just a small size 10 ribbed uh, bloodworm pattern down to my first dropper. And on my first dropper, I've got, it's a sort of a skinny buzzer with a little sort of, almost like a dial back. And then I go up to the top dropper, a gold headed ribbed, sort of natural buzzer on. It's got the gold head on it because it's only six inches away from the bung here, but I want it to break the surface. It's not necessarily a taking flight, although it may be, but it's designed to break the surface film of the water. Updated version two for 2024. This is the 10 foot eight weight. Now, uh, what's new about this? It's the material. We've got a new carbon material. It's a little bit more accurate, more stable. This will be available in February 2024. Sunray bung line in an eight weight. Absolutely brilliant line for this type of fishing. Three flies on here. But you see how delicately it delivers those flies? Just because you're fishing a static bung doesn't mean to say that it's like chuck and duck sort of fishing. Don't know if you can see on the water, but it looks amazing. It goes light gray, then dark gray, almost black, and then light gray, and then dark gray. There we go. There he is. <laughs> wow. This fishery has got these little rainbows in. He's taking the middle dropper. He's got these little rainbows in. They're designed to be food for the big ones. Anyway, it's a fish. Barbless hooks. He bounced off. That's what we want. We don't want to cause any harm to that fish or any fish. Wiggle cast, pick it up. It just digs those flies out of that water column. Because those flies are sunk down like that vertically, wiggling them up just bump, 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 pop. If I just pulled them up like that, it might overload the tip of the rod and they just pop out. And it's very windy today. I don't want to tangle those leaders. The masterclass is a 94 video casting masterclass, but also fishing masterclass. It tells you which cast to use in which situations. So now this line's blended into those waves, those dark, gray sort of slate colored water but the light gray i'm able to follow the line of it but as i say if i miss the bung because i don't like using a big bung if i miss it for some reason which i sometimes do the line acts as this giant zebra indicator oh there you go there you go now look at the tip the tip of the rod playing this decent fish We've only been here five minutes. Had two fish. Excellent. Great fun. And I'd be interested to know which fly he's taking. I think he's taking the gold head on the top dropper. So there, oh, he's come off. Oh, it happens, it happens, it happens. Oh, I only fish barbless. But we're in, we're in, and it's working. Good, 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 good. It's uh, difficult to get a line that loads really quick, but lands gently and safe like that and delivers the flies, bump, bump, bump. You don't want three flies to land on top of each other. Don't, don't, don't. You want them to land, don't, don't, don't. And present correctly. I'm just gonna turn to look at the gap in the trees there. I'm gonna use open stance, which is that. And I'm going to use my eyes to look. I want a longer cast now. I'm going to put my back cast high. I'm going to keep the butt of the rod jammed in to my forearm like that. It's not going to drift away. And I'm going to shoot the rest of that line. But you've got to have the right line for it. And the right rod. If you get the wrong tackle, you, you, even with good technique, you're going to struggle to do that. If you've got a head length on your fly line that's too long, you wouldn't have the rod load to shoot it out. If your rod's too stiff, 
you wouldn't have been able to have the stability and the smoothness of loop control and your flies would have tangled. Wow, I'm really ranting on about the tackle today, aren't I? It's because I've been designing a lot recently and I'm very, very excited about the... Ref they're, they're not sort of innovations, they're refinements on stuff that works already. So here's, here's, a, here's a funny cast. What I want to do now is I want to punch... I'm fishing now, punching into a wind with all this junk on the end. So all I'm going to do is a water hull. There you go. I used the water tension on the forward pickup to create a tight loop to punch into the wind, which gave me a nice back cast to put the final forward cast out. It's called a water hull. It's kind of an adaptation of a water hull. Snake into a roll cast, pick it up into an overhead cast. See that? It's called a snake roll pick up again it's a change of direction because my fly was there and i wanted it there but i didn't want to punch it up into this this strong wind i want to keep it on the water where the wind can't affect it snake roll pick up all in the masterclass 94 videos draw the rugby ball now have a look where my anchor is a rod length away facing 90 degrees across stream like magic, isn't it? It's exactly how we know we want our anchor to be. And all these little casts that you've got, all these little techniques, all the proper foundations of how to stand, turn, look, what cast to use, when to use it, they all add up to fish in the end, don't they? They all add up to fish. Anyway, well, I just caught a brownie down there and I thought the microphone was on, but it's not. But anyway, here it is, a bit of music behind it. foot seven live stream with a get down medium sink density compensated line seven foot of fluorocarbon and you guessed it an olive snake the wind is coming straight into my face now in fact it's blowing a little bit across which will aid me the sinking line is going to help me in this situation because it's a thinner diameter and it's higher density cheese wire through cheese situation but let's see how we get on the wind's blowing my line this way. So if I just stop the rod after the forward cast, it's going to blow the line all down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the rod and then reach into the wind. Get the for overhang marker to my hand. There it is. Now I'm going to stop and reach into the wind. And can you see that the fly landed directly where I want it to be? straight ahead not over there the wind didn't blow it over there i love this fishery rose park fishery here in cornwall fish it a lot i love it i love it it's sort of intimate you know if it was a concert it would be like an acoustic gig you know what i mean it's got a bigger lake over there though now i've got a weed patch just over there oh there we go there we go and keep that tight on him because it's a snake they're only nipping today and he's a barbless. Oh, it's a nice fight. It's a nice fight. Well done, I'm very pleased with this, you know. All these techniques coming into, I, I painted that line onto the water, into that wind. With the right, I used this sort of medium to fast line as a slow intermediate because I didn't let it, ah, he come off again. Just tells you how sort how they're nipping, how they're very gentle today. Oh, there's a touch. Ah, you see? Did you see? Shh. <laughs> see that? That was weird. He took it subsurface, but then went, whoa, and jumped after his. There he is again, and again. Right. Again, again. We're in, we're in, we're in. So yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting knocks off those. That's what's happening. There's one, That's not, that, that was a bit better. Don't know if you saw that, that was a bigger fish. All right, something happening over there. Wow, that was a big, big pull. There he is. There he is. Now keep that. Now because they're only tentatively playing, keep that line tight on him. 
Don't let him. There you go. There you go. Get him in. Right, good. Good fun. There you go. Barbless hooks. Flick him out. Okay, let's move.